Hi, my name is Vineet and I'm going to show you how charts and graphs work in LabVIEW. Charts and graphs are good displays for viewing a data set over some period of time. And if we look over to the VI I have already written here, this is just a very basic application that'll convert from degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius. It takes the value from the slider and displays it on the, on the thermometer. Well, this is good for instantaneously seeing what that degrees Celsius value is. But if I wanted to trend that data over a period of time, well, that's when I'd want to use some sort of graph or a chart. Let's delete the thermometer and then right click on the, block, on the front panel and go over to the graph palette. And here's where I can see a waveform chart and a waveform graph option and a number of other ones that I might want to use. Well, we can drop down a waveform chart. And here's where on the block diagram, I can wire up the output that was going to the thermometer straight into the waveform chart. I can adjust my range values here to go from negative 10 to 100. And I can uncheck auto scale. And I can make the line a little bit thicker so it's easier to see. And now when I hit run, I can trend that data. And as I've moved the slider, I can actually see how the value is changing over time. I can configure this chart to display in a number of different ways. And right now, it's just being shown as a strip chart. So it shows me the last 100 values of the temperatures that are taken, or the last value, 100 values point by point that are sent over to that waveform chart. Well, charts are good for visualizing data point by point over time. But if I wanted to visualize an entire data set all at once, well, that's when I'd use a waveform graph. I'm going to make this chart a little bit smaller, but I'll leave it on the screen so we can see what the differences are. And when I right click, I can go to the graph palette again and drop down a waveform graph. Again, the difference between a waveform graph and a chart is that the chart is used for point by point data, whereas a graph is used to view a certain data set all at once. And so because of this, on my block diagram, I'm going to move the waveform graph outside of the loop. That way, I can build an array of values depending on how the loop is executing, and then display that array on the waveform graph once my loop is ended. I'm going to take the data wire here. I'm going to, instead of wiring it to a certain object, I'm going to wire it right to the edge of the loop. This is called a loop tunnel. And if I right click on the loop tunnel, I can enable indexing. So this is a feature of loops that allow me to build arrays using the loops one point at a time, one element at a time, every time the loop executes. I can then wire that out to the waveform graph. And now when I hit run, you can see I'm still seeing the live display on the waveform chart. And I can vary my slider control here. And you can see it going up and down. Well, nothing is being displayed on the waveform graph because the loop hasn't ended yet. When I hit stop, now I can actually see all of that data displayed on the waveform graph. Now, something to keep in mind is that for small data sets, this works well. But if I wanted to have a larger array, say over 1,000 points, well, then it's better to initialize that array ahead of time instead of using the loop to build it. And that'll save on memory resources for your LabVIEW application. So that's how charts and graphs work in LabVIEW.